I have another flashlight I want to share with you. This is the Claris G15. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts in this light, keep watching. Before we get started, I just want to thank Claris for sending out the G15 so that I could share it with you. So the reason I accepted this when it was offered to me is because it's not a tactical flashlight. And I say that because a lot of the Claris flashlights are, and I've looked at them over the last couple of years, and really I'm not that interested in tactical flashlights but this one is different, and I really like the features this has. So, let's get into it. We'll go down to the tabletop. I'll go over its key features, its physical and performance specification, its operation. Then, of course, we'll get outside and do some demonstrations. All right, just before we take a closer look at the Claris G15, I'll share with you what it came with. So, this is the box the light arrived in. Nice box, good information on the outside, but more importantly is what is on the inside. And there is quite a bit of stuff, unbelievable actually, for a flashlight. First off, really didn't expect to see this, is this nice little velour stuff sack. Um, I'm not quite, well, actually, I, I know what it's here for because when you see the rest of the things that it came with it, you do need something to keep them in. So let's go through those. Well, you expect to see this, which is a charging cable. This is different, right? USB Type-C fast charge charging cable. I'll explain more about that in a moment. Yeah, a lanyard. Uh, yeah, quite often you see lanyards with it, so no surprise there. It's nice to have a lanyard. It's not something I use much of, but... Now, this is also a nice little feature. This is an adapter tube for an 18650 lithium ion battery. It comes with, the flashlight that is, comes with a 5000 milliamp 21700 lithium ion battery installed. So that gives you the option of using the one that came with, but a lot of us have a, have a stack of 18650, so it's nice to be able to switch one out if that's what you want to do. A couple of other things, I did put them loose in here, so I'll just kind of dump them into my hand. A single spare O-ring. Uh, you know, I can't say that I've often run uh, had these things damaged, so a single spare one, most of the time you get two. It's all right having just one. I do need to put this in a little Ziploc after this video so I don't make or don't lose it. And here's two other things that uh, I was not surprised to see. I was just, just surprised to see one of them. And the first one is this. This is a USB Type-C fast charge to USB type A. So what you would do with this is, depending on how you want to charge it, one of the key features is the fact that you can charge this flashlight quickly with USB type C fast charge. So it's a quick charging flashlight, but you may not have a fast charge adapter. So if you want to plug it into a regular USB type A port, then you have that on the end of it. And the other thing is this, this is for use with the power bank when, or excuse me, the flashlight which is also a power bank, so that you can charge Apple products with it. So that would go on the end of the USB Type-C. And now you have a, a product or an Apple charging uh, cord as well. Now, what else does it come with? Let me put these things aside. It comes with, as you would expect, a manual, a manual and warranty information. By the way, the item does have a five-year warranty, which is also nice. Now, what else did I mention? It has the 21700 lithium-ion battery installed. And the last thing that I can show you it came with, of course, is this pocket clip. You'll notice not a two-way pocket clip, which is just fine. I'm not going to be able to attach a light this big to my hat anyway. So I think that's a, a good, nice, low-profile pocket clip that does everything it's supposed to. I'm just going to push all this stuff over to the side. Some of it will come back in in a few minutes time. Let's get into the key features and this for this size flashlight is quite impressive. This has a 4200 lumen turbo mode. That's bright. Now it's not going to last all that long. We'll get into the specs in a minute, but that's when using it with the 21700 battery. It does charge with the USB-C fast charge as I mentioned for a quick recharge time can be used as a power bank with those cables, can be used with 18650 batteries and two CR, uh, CR123 or 123 batteries. So you can stack the two of them together inside of that tube I, I showed and use them to power the flashlight as well. And as I mentioned, it does have a five year warranty. All right, let's go through the physical specifications for this light, starting with the weight, 5.2 ounces, 148 grams, and that's with the battery installed. Overall length, 4.75 inches or 120.7 millimeters. Diameter at its widest, 1.08 inches. 
inches or 27.4 millimeters. It does have a waterproof rating of IPX8 and an impact rating of one meter. Now, as far as the performance specifications to start with, I'm going to give it to you with the 21700 battery. The manual does give it to, uh, information for the 18650 battery, but since this came with the 21700 battery, those this is the information I will give you. So, starting at the top, it has a turbo, as mentioned, 4200 lumens which will last for three hours. There's no mention of step down. Now, I didn't test it to see how long it would run, but I did turn it on and leave it on for a period of time, and I did not notice any step down with this light. It did get warm, again, not hot, but warm at the basil, but no step down that I took note of. It does have a high of 2,000 lumens, lasting 3.3 hours. It has a medium setting of 500 lumens, lasting six hours. It has a low of 100 lumens, lasting 28 hours, and a moonlight of 10 lumens, lasting 150 hours. Now, there is a strobe mode, which will strobe at 4,200 lumens, and an SOS and a beacon mode, each at 500 lumens. All right, so the operation of this light is very simple and very much like a lot of other lights out there in the market, which is something I appreciate, so I don't have to relearn the operating system for this light. It's just what you would expect from most flashlights. So to start with, the on-off button located right here, simple on and off, just a short press, turn it on, turn it off. It has a memory for whatever the last lumen setting is, which is nice. Now, if you want to access moonlight, it's a long press as it is with most lights. So there it is in the la moonlight mode. I'll turn that off. And if I press it again, it comes on in low. Now, if I press and hold, it's going to go through each of the lumen settings. So it's on low now medium, high, back to low again. Either with the light on or the light off, I'll turn it off for this demonstration. If I double tap, it'll go to turbo. Double tap, and you can see just how bright that is and how quickly the camera is adjusting for that. So let me turn that off again. Now, if I want to go to strobe, it is a triple press. I won't do that for you here, but a triple press of the light, either while the light is on or the light is off, will take you to strobe. While it's in strobe, triple press again, it will take you to beacon, triple press again, and it will take you to SOS. Now, there is an electronic lockout on this life, which is appreciated as well, and it's just simply a long press of the button for five seconds. And with that, you'll lock the light out, and if you, while locked out, you have to triple press to unlock it. So, nice and simple, easy to remember, and easy to use. All right, we're doing some nighttime testing for the Claris G. 15. I'm going to turn it on in low and very clearly this is a floodlight. Lots of flood, no central hotspot. I mean, there is a slight one you can get some distinguishing distinction there between it but uh, pretty much all flood. Now we'll just take it up to medium. Wow okay so medium there's my shed 25 feet away. Neighbor's home some 60 70 feet away. Nice, doing a good job of that. Let's take it up to high. That is a lot of light here in my backyard. I can just barely make out the definition between the central hotspot and the flood. It pretty well merges into all flood. And let me double tap. And there we are on turbo. Lights up this backyard really well. All right, so let's close this video up with a few more comments for the Claris G15. So what do I really like about this light? Begin itself, it is the beam. It is a perfect combination of floodlight and spotlight. The next thing I like about it is the fact that it can be recharged so rapidly using a USB Type-C fast charge. Third thing I really like about it is the fact that it can be used with a power bank and all the accessories it came with. I think that's a great combination. Now, there is one small aspect of this light that I think could be an improved, and that has to be the on-off button. As I pictured before, this has a very flush on-off button on top of it, which makes it a bit of a challenge to find without actually looking at it. And it's this time of year, winter, when I'm wearing gloves, that it makes it even more of a challenge. So it would be nice if the on-off button was a little bit more prominent, a little bit easier to find with my thumb without having to look at the light. Other 
other than that, the light is a really good light, very bright as you saw, and just a good combination. All right, that's all I have for you. What I'll do is put all the specifications and all the information I gave you in the video description, links to where you can take another look at this light. But if you have any comments or questions, please put those in the comment section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.